Hello class, my name is Thompson. I'm a trainer at Rubavu Technical Corporate Today we are going to complete together the second part of our module, which is called Basic Electrical Circuit Installation. And today's topic we are going to see how to install two-way switching circuit. At the end of this session, each runner will be able to select and arrange different tools, materials, and equipment required to accomplish the task to install two-way switching circuit. As we are learning together, I invite each and everyone to do a practical exercise with me and to take some. When we are going to do an electrical circuit installation, firstly, we have to select tools, materials, and equipment required to accomplish the task to, to do an electrical circuit installation. Those tools, as you can see, as a professional technician, what you have to do firstly, you have to select PPE, which are personal protective equipment made to protect you against any hazard while you are doing electrical circuit installation, such as gloves, helmet, overall, safety shoes, and so on. After that, you select tools, materials, and equipment required for installation, such as pliers, screwdrivers, hammer, multimeter, cramp meter, wire or cable, pipe, switch, socket outlet, junction box, circuit breaker, fuse, ramp, lamp holder, and finally, distribution box. As we finish to select tools, materials, and equipment required for electrical circuit installation, now on, we are going to do as we already seen together how we install one gang one way switch. In this one, there's a little bit change. In each circuit, we have to have three main cables. The one is for ground, which is used for protection of anything or any other damage. And the two others is a phase, a neutral. The phase, as we already know, is the feed of the circuit. So as you can see, according to the one-way, one-gain switch circuit, we are going to adjust it in order to do it two-way switching circuit. What you have to do, as I already told you, in each direction, there has to be three cables. Ground for protection, phase, and neutral. And as you can see in our junction box, it has to be three cable for each line, as I told you before. And also, you mount the pipes accordingly. While you are going to connect each cable to one to another, you have to do it slowly. And as you can see, at each switch, it has also to be three cables. One for ground, as you can see, and two phase and neutral as you already seen it in our first session. As you can see, when we finish to mount the switch and to connect them perfectly, and we cross all box, we open the circuit breaker, as you can see, one of our lamp is open. We open and we close at different stage. As I told you, it uses this circuit at the stairways or at the house at when you want to install one room with different switch. This means that it is possible to press all switch in the up position and be assured that all ramp are off. It also assures safety when replacing fourth lamp or flex drop. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of our session of today. In our next session, we'll see how to install intermediate switching circuit. As we are running together, I invite you to keep doing a practical exercise with me and take some notes. See you next time. Enjoy.